Hi, this is Glenn at 2024 Sports Look. They talk about Civil War. Do we know what Civil War was about? It was about freeing slaves. It was about losing property. There's a man that screams Obama's name. What does Obama have to do with this government? Because we know these are good Christian people. The government is not going to kill them if they come at the, the, they'll let them kill police, they'll let them kill black people. They're not going to do anything to these people. If you're black, get ready. Because I don't see how you're getting out of this. Watch this video. I mean, you go to any Thanksgiving, you, you just, you know, the, your family members, it's, there's no, there's no question that, I mean, this is, this is crazy. We've got people wearing Trump stuff. It's like we've, we've had to be in hiding for the last two years because we don't know if somebody's going to freak out if they know that we're a, a Trump supporter, you know, hush, hush. You got to keep it on the down low because you don't know how somebody's going to react to that. So are you I think we're getting close to and I don't I'm not saying this hyperbolically because people are saying it all Civil war. <laughs> Civil war. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've said that numerous times. Pro white and explicitly anti immigration platform, an early version of America first. World War II reignites the Klan again, along with the civil rights movement. No, no, no. A World War II Navy veteran named George Lincoln Rockwell founded the American Nazi Party in 1959. We can have our country once again free. We can have it once again white. We're here for the people. We're ready to take our country back. Get rid of the people that shouldn't be in office and put the people in that need to be in. I On Obama and Tor Soros and all these other... A war undertaken and brazenly carried on for the perpetual enslavement of colored men, Douglas wrote in a broadside in 1863, calls logically and loudly for colored men to help suppress it. Toward civil war, do you believe yes. that? Yes, we are headed toward, yeah. You know, people are talking about civil war now. You're hearing things, you know. What, do you think that's a possibility? Of course. So then after all of this, we have the Vietnam War, which really is the first truly modern war in American history. Mm -hmm. uh, how does it have an effect? So the Vietnam War is hugely important. This is Professor Kathleen Ballou. Nobody knows this history better. She's a renowned expert on the far right and their links to the U.S. military. We're talking about rolling deployments, individual rotations, profound strategies that feature indiscriminate violence, mass killing, um, and weapons that are incredible leaps forward in their technologies of harm. All of that refracting almost immediately back into the homeland. And we see people in the movement talking about this very directly when they form the white power movement, talking very directly about an ethical call to, as they say, bring the war home, to inflict that violence on the American population because they feel so betrayed by their experience in Vietnam. What the Vietnam War does is create a shared experience of trauma, disaffection, frustration with society, frustration with the government that can bring together Nazis, Klansmen. This is when people stop wearing the white robes and hoods in many public facing demonstrations and start wearing camo fatigues and significantly issue directives for things like veterans, you're allowed to wear your duly earned badges and medals. You're allowed to wear those things while we harass people um, who are not white in our community. Today's Oath Keepers and Three Percenters are part of a history of paramilitary-style right-wing militias that Ballou says really started in the post-Vietnam era. And one man in North Carolina helped lead the way. How are you willing to defend your homes and your family? Glenn Miller uh, is a longtime a white supremacist activist in and around Greensboro, North Carolina. Miller's group changes its name across time. So it begins as the Confederate Knights of the KKK, it becomes the Carolina Knights of the KKK, and finally the White Patriot Party. And it's an early example of people using military formation um, in Klan activity in this region. So Miller famously outfitted his people in camo fatigues, had them wear their duly authorized military decorations. Miller and the White Patriot Party 
also used their proximity to Fort Bragg to obtain weapons and explosives from Fort Bragg itself. During this time in the early 1980s, he was involved in obtaining tons, and I mean literal tons, of stolen weapons and munitions from the armory at Fort Bragg. So you literally start seeing guys in this hyper-racist, hyper-extremist organization start stealing weapons from... Uh, the, the Civil War, they want Civil War. Who's that? The globalists. We might be on a process of Civil War, but it ain't gonna last long if we do go to a Civil War. It's all over. In what way? We're gonna be in World War III. Uh, I, I worry about Civil War because, and I fear that... It was definitely stolen. Well, it wasn't definitely stolen. Even in 2022, I was, I was in Arizona at the time. The way that they had in all the Republican precincts, they had lines out the wazoo. It's, it's so obvious what they're doing. It's so obvious. The, the, the information is out there. I know that, you know, the information is out there. That's what I have to say. And where is that information? It's out there. You can promote this channel by like and subscribing.